Good morning, everyone. Well, it's getting on to afternoon, but anyway. Uh, I had a comment on my on my site about the pendants on the 3800. So I'm going to go over all of them real quick for everybody. Um, I don't remember if I did this by the instructions or not. But I'll go over all of them. But I'm going to start up here on the luffing jib. Um, I have 12 pendants connecting the luffing jib. The best way to tell how you've got it relatively right is this should come up at about a 90 degree angle to your main boom, roughly. Moving over to the luffing arm. The lower luffing arm down to the main boom. That's that right there. There are 10 of them, five on each side. From the bridle, we have four of the, I guess you'd say 40 footers and a pair of the 20s or shorter, whatever they call them. And, and that can be, that can be anything because you've, you've got this to mess with and you can take up any of the slack you want. But that's what I have on mine. Okay, I'm going to go back to the mast down to the A arm. And that has four on each side. For eight. And from the cylinders... To the ballast tray that again can be adjusted with a with a short set it depends on how much you've got here how you've got your your boom laid down several things can change how many you need here to get your ballast tray where you want it mine you can see it's swinging it's just barely off the ground so you can slew the crane and there are three on each side. Uh, I know I have extra of the shorter ones. And I do use them if anything changes. If I lift the, the, the mast up, it, it's going to change the height of the ballast tray, of course. And it depends on where you want your ballast tray and how much adjustment you take out of your cylinders. Uh, very much not unlike the 1600. You, you change something, you may have to change something else. But that's pretty much it. it it's pretty simple. Um, again, when you're looking at your model, I like this to be at almost a 90 degree angle with the main boom. So it really depends on how many your model takes to make that. Of course, any extensions in your model are gonna change this as well. So I hope that covers that. And uh, any other questions or comments, you guys know I welcome them. I'll shoot you a video as quick as I can and get it up as quick as I can. We got one more side on this. There's our nothing jib. And you can see how it's pretty close to a 90 there. Our main boom, pretty close to a 90. Doesn't have to be exact. And uh, they only attach one place, so you're stuck with that. And again, remember, this is a totally however you feel like putting it. I could take these these two off and just run this and come up to here, and it would look fine. So if you're short pendants or you're not sure, take them off your bridle or add them on your bridle. It, it's, it's the easiest way to, to make extras because that is more important. 
and of course how many you have on your mask down to your A arm is of course very important. So the only thing you got to play with is your bridle going to the main boom. All right, y'all. I hope that helps everybody. And especially you, Leroy. I know these things can be a drag. They can be <laughs> confusing. Sometimes the instructions are not exactly right. Just ask the crane dude. He'll tell you. I don't even think he uses instructions anymore. All right, y'all. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.